What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. You're on Best to Hear, your vocal coach in Johannesburg, South Africa. And I am a huge fan of Jacob Collier. You probably too. That's probably the reason why you clicked on this video. So Jacob Collier is a real genius, in my opinion, a musical genius, multi-instrumentalist, had a five-string acoustic guitar made by Taylor Guitars, which is incredible because he, he just reasons that five strings on a guitar makes more sense. And I saw a short the other day where, he, not a short, a video, where he explains how easy it is on a five-string guitar. You should check it out. It's incredible. And I'm a huge fan of the way he writes and creates and the authenticity, the super out-of-this-world creativity in his songs, in his music. If you listen through his albums, everything is so different. It's always pushing boundaries. It's always going like, What's lying around here? Oh, there's a spoon and a hat. Let's bang those two things together and see what the sound is. Yeah, that's cool. Let's put that in. Let's put that in the track. But honestly, vocally, he can do anything with his voice. He uses his voice as a tool, as an extra layer of sound in the tracks. Um, just, ugh, I don't know, just beautiful, just excellent, just otherworldly. So this song. Witness Me, he released on his, um, his, on his latest album, Jesse Volume 4, um, and this video um, I see was released in November 2023, so it's quite a, f quite a recent song, um, but he partnered with Shawn Mendes in that, in that track, as well as Stormzy, and then Kirk Franklin with his incredible um, vocal ensemble. Oh, there are videos also. On YouTube, just go and Google behind the scenes, witness me, Jacob Collier behind the scenes or whatever. Excuse me, and you'll see the incredible skill of those musicians. It's just insanity. And then Jacob also have partnered with Tori Kelly and Yeba, unofficially, because Yeba, you might know the story of Bridge Over Troubled Water, how Yeba just made this video sitting on somebody's lounge one day recorded with a phone and then Jacob took that and turned that into a masterpiece where John Legend sings on the track and Tori Kelly as well. So I think Jacob and Tori have connected and maybe become friends. So she is performing with him and a few brilliant singers, a bass player, a drum player, Jacob on the piano, live on Jimmy Kimmel. Let's check it out. <laughs> Yes! I love him so much! Full voice, again connected, but much more breath flowing. Don't want a mic stand just hanging around. I keep me where the light is. Yeah. His album, Jesse Volume 4, comes out February 29th. Here with the song, Witness Me, with help from Tori Kelly, Jacob Collier. With help from Tori, that's not a nice way to say it, but anyway. So groovy. You tell me you're broken. You tell me it's over now. You say you're done hoping. Tell me all the lies gone now. Or maybe you're lost in But maybe you're far from home If you only keep walking You never will walk alone My gosh So, if, you've, if you know the original version The album version of Witness Me Then you will notice If you listen to this live performance That it's different Totally. The production is totally different. Because obviously in that track, there is a lot more going on in the studio track. Whereas here, it's just the piano, like I said, electric bass, drum set, and the voices. 
But the vibe is the same. And this is something so incredible for me. When a song, when music, and or a song, whether the music is a song or just instrumental music, when music is well written, you can do so much with it. Honestly. Um, oh, and he just is so masterful. I mean, I saw his recent um, version with Aurora on an iceberg, it seems, live, doing a totally different version of another song from his album. The album version, the studio version, and the live version can be totally different, yet the essence of the song, the power that's in how the song was constructed and written, is still there. I just, it's just genius. And notice how he plays the piano. So gently so he like he caresses the keys with his hands it's like there's never a anything that sounds or feels out of place in terms of it's too loud or it's too sudden or something so so skillful but so creative oh my gosh and i love the vocal layers it looks like there are four vocalists plus tori kelly so five vocalists making all those beautiful harmonies mm. when i'm with you yeah. There's nothing that I wouldn't do You're the one that I waited for To bring out the best in me now I'm holding on to you I'm holding my hand out to you You're the one that I waited for I'm holding on to you I'm with you I'm with you I'm with you here I'm with you here You're the light I I see, the dark I see. I'm, with you. I'm with you, I'm with you here, I'm with you, here. you are all I see, all I see. you witness me. Hey. Oh, we haven't seen each other much, I've been gone for the last six months, life isn't easy, so call when you need me, yeah. Don't want to interrupt Tori, but did you see what, what Jacob did there? He put his hand inside the grand piano and he's putting his finger on the string of that F4. It makes it, tuk, 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 tuk. It makes it like a percussive muffled sort of sound. It's just something crazy creative in the middle of a live performance that just adds to, most people won't notice that, but it adds to the sound. It adds, adds to the soundscape that he wants to create with this version in this live performance. It is incredible. I'm actually gonna go back 10 seconds and show you that again. Just check his hand going into the piano and see if you can hear that that F. I haven't seen each other much. I've been gone for the last six months. Life isn't easy. So call when you need me, Sing, Tori. Listen to that bass, though. Tori, sing! So those quick runs that she can do, those riffs are so awesome. It's so characteristic of her, isn't it? Um, but let us not stop to be amazed at the incredible skill with which she does it. All the musicians there, in my, to my ears, are just excellent. Even the guy on the percussion, on the drum kit, but it seems like there's also like hand percussion there. I can't quite see he's in the dark. <laughs> but um, the guy on the bass, oh my gosh. And all these singers obviously are all incredible. And that's what he does. He attracts Jacob. He attracts world-class musicians. And he seeks them out. On Jesse, volume four, the last album, 
You should go and check that out. Download it. Listen to the whole thing. It's quite a trip. Every track is so different. But there are collaborations with random people that we maybe have never even heard of, but they are excellent musicians. Oh, just love it. These chords are not in the original. Look at him. So excited. Wow. Don't you think that's cool? Um, <clears throat> and he goes, whoa, at the end. Just sing the low wave, goes, whoa. So deliberate, but yet it feels like it's um, spur of the moment. It seems like many things that he does, it feels like he just made it up on the spot. I think a lot of it he probably does, but most of it, I think, is so premeditated, it's planned, so intentional, because it's just going to add something to the music. Oh my gosh. That whole jazzy bit there, that is not in the original track. Do this, it'll be a nice exercise for you, if you don't know the music well. Go and listen to the original, the album recorded, oh, studio recorded album version, I can't speak. Go and listen to that, the Shawn Mendes. One. And then listen to this again and see if you can feel what I'm talking about. The essence of the song, the vibe, the feel, the message is the same. It comes through, yet it's, it's two different ways of expressing it. Absolutely brilliant. I hope you'll release this version digitally as well. Um, he, he sometimes does. Check out, by the way, on my channel, I made some, I've made a number of analysis videos, reaction videos on Jacob's stuff, where he does the audience choir stuff. So brilliant. Um, the Little Blue, that beautiful song, my favorite song on the album, um, but also that version in that cathedral looking place with fans singing along live, live recorded like this. It's live. Nowhere to hide. I'm sure there's a bit of post-production there. Um, the mix is incredible. Tori's voice with the other singers, with him, everything just seems so, <sighs> to my ears, world class, which is the only way I think he does things. Incredible. So please let me know what you thought. If you haven't seen this before, or even if you have, let me know your thoughts. If you have more information about the people he collaborated with or whatever, I'd love to hear from you. Always love hearing from you. I read your comments. I try to respond to as many as I can. And by the way, it's not just me who enjoy it. Other people enjoy it too, because you might have some information, some background, some insight that is great for all of us to listen to. So I'd really appreciate that. Thank you for spending the time with me. I do appreciate it. And I want you to remember that your voice matters. <laughs>